Hey everybody and welcome to Dot Hack GU. And actually I just noticed this that in the intro there were a whole bunch of words like uh uh I'm gonna go to options. I'm just gonna open options so that no uh like cinematics play. Um uh, there were a whole bunch of words that were displayed during the intro. There were like, uh, Gates of Ouroboros and Geeks Utopia, stuff like that. And this is the first time I've noticed this. Granted, I've only played through this game once. Um, they all had the initials GU. I never actually noticed that. So, um, this is Don Hack GU. This is pretty much a direct continuation from, um, uh,. Well, okay, it's not a direct, but this is the con this is a continuation of the first four games: Dot Hack Infection, Mutation, Upbreaking, and Quarantination. <laughs> Infection, Mutation, Outbreak, and Quarantine. Um, so yeah, uh, if you have data from those games on your PS2 memory card, the one that you actually save or create a save file for Dot Hack GU on, you can um, convert the data from these games and get a uh, a bonus. Now, uh, infection, mutation, outbreak, shin, and quarant, and uh, those, <laughs> whatever. The first three all have the same special bonus. So this bonus is the same for all four volumes. However, if you do quarantine, there is a bonus unique to this volume. So you can get the same thing, but you get a bonus thing if you do quarantine. So we're gonna do quarantine. So there we go. Okay, and uh. uh we're gonna do... Did I have one that was a higher level? No. Okay. We're gonna do the one that has the highest... Oh, wait, no, this one. Wait, no. We're gonna do the one that has the highest time, because all 94, 95, 95, 95, but this one is at 73 hours, so this one is probably the one I beat the game in, so there we go. I'm gonna use that one. So there you go. The following bonus was added from the data conversion dot hack Legend of Twilight in the mail section. Okay. So there you go. Now, um, there are events that took place, um, in an anime that was prior to this game. I forget what it's called. I think it's like Dot Hack. Um, it's not Liminality and it's not Sign. Um, I forget what it's called, but basically there was Dot Hack Sign. And then there was the original Dot Hack games that took place alongside Liminality. And then there was an anime that took place in between the four games in Liminality and this and this game. And this is one that takes place after that anime. So yeah, if you want to get the scoop on everything that happened in between now and the four the first four games, you can go watch that anime. I don't remember what it's called though. So. I think this is just like an opening intro. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, we are making a new character. Now, uh, fun fact about this. Um, this doesn't really have... I mean, this isn't really a spoiler. This doesn't really come into play in the game itself. But uh, this character right here, the one that you play as... Um, if you've watched Dot Hack Sign, there was a character in the anime called uh, Sora... He was kind of like an anti-hero, kind of a dickish person. But uh, he was kind of an asshole. He was kind of anti-hero. He never really knew what he was after. And uh, Sora, at the end of Sign, uh, well, and I'm going to spoil something in the anime, but it's like 10 years old now. So if you were interested in Dot .hack, you've already seen it. Um, the player Sora, or the character Sora, was uh, basically assimilated into Scathe. And his character was, like, destroyed. So his character data was destroyed, he was data-drained, and he became Scathe. Like, seriously, he is Scathe. That's why in Dot .hack, the original four games, you find Sora, and he is Scathe's wand. And then he becomes Sora. Um, now... Fun fact, the player who made the character Sora is the same player who made this character Haseo, which who is the main character, his name is Haseo. So yeah, we are basically playing the human playing as Haseo. Wow, this oh. is cool. And it's Yuri Lowenthal. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, but yeah, we... Hey. Oh shit. What do you want? I'm trying to explain hey, you, something. You, the adept rogue. What do you want? 
Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. Okay, I get it. What? How rude. Nice hat. So, I take it this is your first time playing this game. No, I've played it before. Yeah. I just finished installing it to my PC. Bullshit, I played it before. Well, if you wish, we will be honored to show you around. Huh? Huh? I am sure you would like to become well acquainted as soon as possible. Just say yes and come along with us. I promise you won't regret it. No. I don't wanna. I'd rather learn on my own. Right. It is decided, I didn't say anything! Here, I'll hand you my member address. Member addresses are short email addresses that you can only use in the world. Yeah, I know. Short mail allows you to instantly send and receive messages from any player online in the world. Okay. So it's basically the exact same people. Yeah, yeah. That you have member addresses for to join into your party. Yeah, so it's exactly like the first four All games. All right. So let's open the menu. Uh, I want to keep Press the triangle button to open it. I want to. Are you going to stop talking for a second? Oh. But yeah, basically Sora became Scaife and now after the events of the first game, when Scaife and Kubia was destroyed, uh, the character, the human who played as Sora, has now woken up, and he's back playing the world, and he's made Haseo. So yeah, that's not really a spoiler for the game or anything like that, that doesn't come into play at all, that's just a little fun fact. And another fun fact is that many of the characters that you run into in this game are actually the same people who played in the first game. So, for example, uh, you run into Elk, but um, Elk's human, <laughs> it's really weird, Elk's human made a new character. So you meet a new character who is played by the same person who played Elk. It's, it's really interesting and cool. I'm sure there's a lot of Wikipedia entries on who is who, but you do actually run into and interact with uh, some of the original hackers, which is pretty sweet. Or dot hackers, I should say. Alright, triangle. Open the menu. Okay, like party. Oh shit, no. Alright, so we have items, skill, equipment, customized skill trigger, status, quest, awakenings, strategy, memoir, log out, and party. We got a lot of options. This okay. is a list of all the people who have a member address. Okay. Choose our names from this list, and then... Okay, yes. There we go. I am honored to lend you my soul. Oh, shut up. Okay, now invite Iyoten. Okay. Okay. So this is exactly like the first game. Okay, great. Now your party is complete. Remember, you can only invite people logged into the world. Enough with the formalities. Should we go on to your first adventure? Sure. All right. Whoop. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Oh man, I love the music here. So actually, a lot of the cities. Oh my god, you're so fucking fast. All right, a lot of the cities that you uh, you visit in this game are basically the exact same ones. This is Makanu. I don't know if we can leave. Let's see. Okay. Okay. So man, we're so fast. Oh my god, that's nice. All right, save. Good card slot one. Whoop. Poof. There we go. Okay. So we're saving. We're saving. We're saving. Holy crap, that took a long time. I guess creating the first file takes a long time. Oh, okay. The Chaos Gate! Alright, use the Chaos Gate to go on in the adventure! Uh, no. I wanna leave! I wanna see the city! Let's start our adventure. Fuck you! Okay, fine. Alright. Chaos Gate. Warp menu. This is a transporter called the Chaos Gate. Players can use this to travel from the root town to other locations. Choose Warp Menu. In the world, all locations except for root towns, fields, and dungeons are called areas. Um. Okay, that sounds really boring. <laughs> you can warp to these areas by combining three words at the chaos gate. These words determine the type of area, monster strength, and so on. All right, let's try out the word selection. Choose area word from the menu. Okay. So, go to Area Word, and as you can see, we have Bookmark to Town. You can go to other towns, which we'll unlock later. You can leave the Chaos Gate, Warp Record, you can go back to places you've already been to. You can go to a random one, or you can set in your own words. This is where you input the words. The thing at the top is the word plate. 
You combine the three words in here to create the area you want to go. The gyro at the left of the screen shows your current stock of words. That's a gyro? Okay, I didn't know that that's what a gyro was. I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm pretty sure that a gyro is A, what Rob the Robot can mess around with, and two, a burrito from Greece. Whatever. <laughs> anyway. You can get more words by getting information from other players, emails, and forums. Okay, why don't you give it a try? Let's start with the first word. Choose courageous from your stock. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll have to choose courageous. Mm, so much choices. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. All right, so courageous, engaging, daydream. These are basically, this is the... Okay, no. now you can go to your first area. You're forced to go to this one. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. See the mark left of the area word? That's a server symbol. It indicates the server you're currently in. Right now, it's showing triangle for Delta. So, as you can see, we are all in the Delta server. <laughs> I kind of wish that they, did, like, I really wish that they didn't say, oh, it shows triangle for Delta. I wish they showed, it shows Delta for Delta. <laughs> that would have been really funny. If it's a different server, you'll go to another area, even with the same area word. Ah! Pay attention to the server symbol when invited to an area by a friend. If you want to know more, just check out some of the forums. All right, then we're off to Delta Courageous Engaging Daydream. Oh, well, thank God they actually say it a little bit faster than this game. In the original, they would have been like, Delta Courageous Engaging Daydream. You know, they were really slow and awkward at saying it. All right, let's do it. Unlimited online game on World, or the World R2. A dazzling twilight dream. So yeah, we're in the the world R2. This is not the same the world. This is a different the world. <laughs> and that always sounds really funny. But yeah, this is not the same the world. It's a new one. So, we've all been transported to a field. Yup. Open your map to take a look at the layout. Go ahead and press the select button on the controller. And you know what's funny? Uh, this actually works very, very well because it's like you, we're playing a game, so them saying press, press select or press triangle makes perfect sense because they would be telling a player to do it. Oh man, uh, can you uh, stay like that for a little bit? Hmm. Just, uh, oh, okay, fine. <laughs> she knew I was looking. <laughs> this is the area map. Use this screen to check current position, mission info, and any other information you may need. First, let's take a look at what our mission is. Go ahead and press the X button. This is our mission. Alright. Symbol fragments, okay. Missions are basically, um, well, I guess they're sort of like our objective for the area. Oh my god, I know. <laughs> it looks like this is a collection mission. We must collect three symbol fragments and make our way to the Beast Temple. The symbol fragments are in treasure chests found on the altars. The altars are protected by monsters, so the only options are to open the treasure without being seen. Or defeat the monsters first, then open the treasure. These are the altar icons. Yeah, I, I suggest oh my we God. first head to each of these icons and open the treasure chests. Now, this is the icon for the Beast Temple. I can see it on the map key! It's right there! It's one of the two biggest squares on the screen! Come on! Which is our final destination. Okay, now that we've confirmed what our mission is, let's be on our way! Alright, god, I get it. Wait up, Asta. You forgot one more thing. Asta? Okay. Platform! Use the transport to return to town for completing the mission. Okay, I get it. This time. Oh, wait! <laughs> wait a minute! If you're unsure where the Beast Temple or the Altars are, just... Okay, yeah, just reopen the map. I get it. <laughs> so wait a minute! You go through that entire gigantic spiel about everything else, and then you just have a little text pop up for that? Well, I mean, I don't have a problem with that, but it's really weird. Man, this can't... Man, you're so fast, and you're... Oh my god! Oh, I can't wait! Ooh, that's... Nice. Monsters! Oh. We found an Altar already. A performance surprise act by approaching the monsters around the altar without being seen and press X when the target cursor appears. Oh. Okay. Well, I can try. Let's see. I don't know which way they're facing. Uh, I think they're facing north? Good. Now, press the X button ah. for a surprise attack. We got him. Fuck you! 
Oh yeah. Oh shit. Surrounded by the battle fence, so it's virtually impossible for anyone to escape. <laughs> Get it? Virtually impossible because we're in virtual reality. Eh? Sorry. The only way to escape from a battle is with an item called a smoke screen. Asta and I don't have one right now, so we'll have to fight it out. All right. So now we get to fight. Oh my god, the fighting in this game is so much better than the original. Check it out. It's so much better. Not so difficult, huh? Alright, hold down the X button and release it when the gauge is full. Charge attacks are effective against enemies that are guarding. So. Oh. Boom! There you go. Keep it up. That's it. Just continue fighting like that. Alright. So, a uh, combo attack, hold down, and then s uh, circle to guard. Right. Fuck you! Oh my god, this is so much better! Oh. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, stop. You guys want to do anything? No? Oh, nice. She's got... Damn! She's in for 75. Oh, right. She's like 10 levels above me. <laughs> or like 9. Die, you son of a bitch! Combo breaker! Oh man. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Alright. That's that sound sounds really cool. Here, check it out. Meow meow meow. It sounds like bullets ricocheting off like a wall or something. That's pretty sweet. Alright. Damn, that was a lot of experience for me. None for them. I acquired three GPs. Three general practitioner practitioners have been acquired. All right. <clears throat> All right. So sometimes the treasure chest on the top of the pillars will contain symbol fragments. All right. We're gonna search the treasure chest after defeating the monsters. Okay. Collect three symbol fragments. Blah blah. Search the treasure chest. Thank you. Yay! Symbol fragment. All right. So there we go. Now we just need to do that two more times, and we'll be on our way. Oh my god. And yeah, sorry about the uh, massive amount of tutorials, but. All right. I know, it's right over there. I'll teach you about using Ooh. skills to attack. Here we go. Alright, perform a surprise attack? Yeah, yeah. Alright. So, um... I'm gonna get all the tutorial and all the intro out of the way, and then next time we'll be able to do, like, story and stuff. Regular and combo attacks are just simply normal attacks. Skills enable you to do much more damage to your enemies. Alright, powerful attacks require SP. Press triangle to open the main menu and select skill. Okay, skill triggers a single button. Wait, the skill triggers a single button shortcut for performing skills. Press R1. Oh, yes! Okay, what you see here is the skill trigger menu. Do you see the four panels? You can press the button that corresponds to each panel to execute the different arts. Now try it out by using the arts, Gale Blade. You mean the art, Gale Blade? Yeah! All right, perfect. The skill trigger is not just a shortcut. It can also be used to stop enemy attacks, or it can be used to interrupt one of your own. Aren't you forgetting something important, EO10? There is an even more important use for the skill trigger. Of course I haven't forgotten. You're talking about Rengeki, right? Yeah! I love Rengeki, it's awesome! <laughs> Rengeki is an advanced skill attack with an increased amount of inflicted damage. To perform Rengeki, use a skill attack when an enemy surrounded by a blue and purple ring appears when continuously inflicted with damage. Attack the enemy until it's surrounded by blue and purple rings. Alright. Alright. Whoop. Rengeki! So awesome! I love that shit! <laughs> Favorite action is triggered when Rengeki is used when other, co uh, other conditions are met. It raises the morale of your party members and will allow you to execute more powerful attacks. Conditions of, for favorite action vary with each party member. There you go. Very well. Shall we let him play as he wishes? That's a good idea. All right, Haseo. It's all up to you now. Oh my god. Trigger gauge will appear on the... Yeah. So yeah, using skills is super badass. <laughs> oh my god, the skill system is so much better in this game. I don't have to pause the game, I just have to hit R1. Okay, oh, no. I didn't mean to do it. Oh well, I did it anyway. 
Now, you have a cooldown in between each skill, but it's not really that long. Whoops. Okay. Fuck you! Bam! God, I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so much happier to play this game than the first one! So yeah, using Rengeki will actually give you bonus experience, so it's worth using every basically every time it pops up. Alright, so there we go. That is one of my favorite things about this game, is Rengeki. Oh, man. Oh, I'm so happy to be playing this one. The first game sucked compared to this. They don't actually suck, but compared to GU, they are vastly inferior. Remember what AU intend? Yeah, yeah. Fuck you! Boom! All right. Outbreak of battle! Now, isn't there, isn't there a way to... Ow. Okay, stop. Isn't there a way to change my target? I think there is, but I can't quite seem to get it. I'm using the D-pad. Uh, let's see. Okay, that centers the camera behind me. If you press L2, it'll center the camera behind you. L1 doesn't seem to do anything. Square doesn't do anything. Whoa, whoops. Triangle. Okay, that's just the menu. Alright. I'm just trying to swap my target, because I can't seem to get it. And yeah, they're healing me, which is good. Now, um, morale... I believe there are different things you can do to raise morale, however, uh, Rengeki is one that is a constant. So if you just use Rengekis all the time, or like whenever they're available, that's a great way to uh, just get a ton of morale all the time, like reliably. Alright. So yeah, I know that there is a way to change targets, I, they just haven't told me, and I don't seem to be able to. I know that there is a way, though. And hey, I'm almost level 2, sweet. Had I been able to use a Rengeki, I would have been level 2, but nope. Simple Fragment, yay! It's just a simple, you son of a bitch. There we go. So, whoop. Yeah, awesome job. Yep. Alright, let's finish off by heading for the Beast Temple. Okay, now use the map to check your position, just like we taught you. I know, oh my god, I know exactly where I am. I'm not... Ugh. There's a mini-map. Jesus! And I remember the layout. This is a very simple layout. It's like five different areas. And you have to go through three of them to win. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway. But yeah, don't worry. I'm going to get all the tutorial out of the way. And next time, we will be able to just do nothing but story. And uh, yeah. So it, won't, it will not uh, be a bunch of boring shit for like multiple episodes. That lens flare is getting really annoying. I'm not even wearing any lens. I'm, ooh, fish. That's a fish? <laughs> anyway. To the beast temple! Now, I believe these are basically the dungeons in the game. Remember how in the original game they had, like, uh, they had dungeons that were, like, five floors long? I think, I think these have taken their place. Ah, okay. That's some dramatic ass music, Jesus. This is a statue of Fulset, the god of law. We just call it the Beast Statue. But I think in the game's story, it's supposed to be an important god or something. See that treasure box? That's the offering to the Beast Statue. <laughs> There's a rare item inside of that that you can only get in this area. Go ahead and open it, Haseo. You sure? Go ahead. You're still a noob. You need all the help you can get. That, and you've probably done this area before, so... What is it? Dry gear! Oh, whoopee! <laughs> that sounds horrible! Come on! Thanks. Whoa! Jesus Christ! Oh. The items in the treasure chest are your rewards. Yes, and our reward is you. <laughs> <laughs> Kinky. I, love I mean, uh. Out these pathetic noobs. It's really quite fun. You asshole. God damn it. Face it. An idiot like you isn't qualified to play this game. What are you? Are you serious? Hold on. I thought you said I could kill this one. Don't you remember? 
After all. Oh shit. Oh my god! Jesus Christ, look at that sword! Quick, log out! <laughs> oh, come on, you didn't trip on anything. Jesus Christ. I, don't, I never enabled PvP, you bitches! Aww. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cool! <laughs> and terrifying. Great sword with goddamn buzz saws on it. You know, the fact that this is just an online game makes me really not give as much of a shit as I should, How but... pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what a loser. He died to people who were way well, higher level than him. Spectrum, a noob who's just logged in for the first time. Really? Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Say something already. You killed me, you dumbasses! <laughs> I swear. Just pretend to be their friend. Fall all over themselves to let you peek in. <laughs> oh shit. You're still around. Nice. Oh my god. Huh? What the Oh man, can I have a rifle too? Oh my god, wrecked. <laughs> Joke's on you, asshole. You can't get your character now because you fell out of the game. You gotta make a whole new one and get to level 10, which will take you like 20 minutes, but still, you'll be mildly inconvenienced. So wait, am I alive or what? Jesus Christ, the oversaturation, or just the saturation. That's kind of a thing with this game. The colors are super saturated. So are you gonna use like a life bottle on me or something? Or like rip mean, please? You're trying to help up a dead body. Welcome to the world. Thanks. <laughs> I'm dead! Why are you continuing to talk to me? Jesus Christ. Everybody's talking to a dead body, <laughs> as if it'll respond to them. Oh shit, eight months later, okay. Well, I guess I didn't quit the game, that's for sure. Oh yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> oh yeah, oh shit. <laughs> oh my god, these, these weapons are terrifying! Please help me. <laughs> Go like. Go like thorn swords and great swords with buzz saws on them and shit. I already knew I was playing Dot Hack GU. What an idiot. Ha. <laughs> hmm. Oh shit, Yuri Lowenthal. We already knew that. What are you, a Zelda character? It's a sale! The PKK! What?
I'm surprised. I didn't think you'd be that strong. I guess this means that the rumor about you killing 100 PKers wasn't a lie after all. Hey, come on, don't look at me like that. Here, let me apologize. So just take it easy, calm down, and die! <laughs> Do you know Triedge? What did you say? He's a legendary PK, shrouded in blue fire. They say players that get killed by him never come back to the game. Huh? Oh, come on now. Don't tell me you actually believe that crap. Those old forum fairy tales. So, you think you can go up against me, the great Bordeaux, and just walk away like nothing happened? <laughs> Yeah, I think I can. <laughs> well, look who became a supreme badass. So, Haseo, after eight months of playing the game, after getting PK'd once, devoted his life to killing PKers and has become like a supreme ultimate badass in like black and red armor. He's got like a chainsaw sword and uh, like a scythe that's got like uh, fucking barbs on the blade and shit. So yeah, he's become a quote unquote legendary player in just eight months. Could you imagine that? Getting, uh, peak, getting ganked uh, level one in World of Warcraft and then all of a sudden eight months later you're like famous the game over? Like holy shit. So it's you. You. The character that stinks of death. Hi, Regal. The terror of death. You're the PKK, Haseo. Players who kill other players are disgraceful. And I agree it's terrible how PKs can just strut around the world so easily these days. But is it right that you PKKs have chosen to use brute force to stop them? <laughs> are you I serious? Don't have time for this. Not now. You have no authority, and it earns you nothing. So why? I am the leader of Moon Tree's Unit 2. My friends call me Sakaki, and I'm afraid I cannot overlook your actions. What are you gonna do about it? Did you say Moon Tree? What's that? The name of a guild? <laughs> Sorry, Sakaki, but I've already got enough friends. Thanks. like that? You know, Sakaki wasn't finished talking to you yet. <sighs> Shino. Huh? Atali. Hmm? Do you know this person? What do you... Uh, what? No. Oh. Atali. It's not unusual to meet players with similar characters in an online game like this. <laughs> Why are you trying to be all sexy? Jesus Christ. Hey, you. Why don't you just... Huh? A text message. Delta hidden forbidden waterfall. Waiting at RK Kelm. But who sent it? Uh. Ovan. <laughs> How? What? Are you serious? You what? Are you expecting me to believe you just, just... Hold on a moment. Oh my god. Why don't you stop acting like a complete fool? Remember what you PKKs are trying to do. If you succeed, you'll be no different from the PKs themselves. Um... Really? I'm pretty sure that's not true. But okay, man, that's a long video, but that's okay. I wanted to get all this shit out of the way first. That way I can actually play the damn game. It's always a hidden forbidden area. It's hidden forbidden blank, and then it's something special. <sighs> 
Is it Ovon? Oh yeah, yeah, it is Ovon. Ovon. Hello. Why do you have a giant trash can on your arm? I know it's not a trash can, but it's big enough to be a trash can. It's been a long time, Haseo. Jameson Price, woo! Or maybe I should call you the Terror of Death. You've gotten quite strong. A lot stronger than you were back then. Well, I was forced to become stronger, thanks to you. You, where have you been? What do you mean, thanks Haseo. to... Always the reliable one. I knew I could count on you. When the Twilight Brigade broke up, why didn't you come then? What have you been doing the last six months? I was busy. It was such a small seed. I needed to find out what was growing inside. And what? there was only one way to find out. That's why I decided to raise it. You raised it? What are you talking about, Ovan? I'm speaking figuratively. When you suddenly disappeared, we all just... Why did you disappear like that? After that, Shino... Haseo, do you want to know about Triage? Wait, you know Triage? Six months now. And Shino hasn't come back to the world since Triage killed her. Meanwhile, the real life Shino is lying in a coma, and no one seems to know the reason why. Triage. He is not a normal PK. So you knew about Shino? Yes, but that's all that I know. But if you were able to find Triage, you might learn something about Shino's coma. You may also learn more about what really happened that day. And if you were somehow able to defeat Triage... Then maybe Shino would come out of the coma. If my information is correct, he will be back today, at the scene of the crime. The scene of the crime? You mean... Delta Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground. Place where Shino was killed. The whole Grand's Cathedral. Yes, finally. I'll get my chance. I swear I'll bring Shino back. I'll do it, Ovan. Yes. You and I. We're the only ones who could possibly bring her back. We're the only ones. Ovan? I'll meet you at the Holy Ground. There are some things I must do. My god, there's a lot of cutscenes in this game. <laughs> Alright. Oh my god, I don't... Oh, Jesus! I'm never gonna get to play! I'm never gonna get to end the video! It's gonna be like an hour-long video. Please tell me I have to at least walk in. We'll be back today. The scene of the crime. Please tell me I have to walk in. Don't! Is coming here. Please don't walk in. Shit, he's gonna walk in, isn't he? Damn it! Oh, fine. It's gonna be an hour long video. It's gonna take like a day to render. Damn it! <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is a long episode. Oh well. Is that... Dry Edge? 
killed Shino. It's not over yet! So apparently I went all rogue. I went all rogue and I decided to data drain Haseo for some reason. I don't know. I'm evil now. And I look really, really cool and I have like cool th three bladed swords and I can block lots of shit with like zero effort. So basically I'm Final Form Frieza versus regular Goku or regular Vegeta, I guess. So that's going to be the end of this part because it's gone way too long. Now, uh, just so you know, that whole conversation with Ovon about, oh, was like, oh, the Twilight Brigade, it broke up, and then Sheena, blah, 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 that, everything that he was talking about happened in the anime that I was discussing at the very beginning of the video. So the, the anime that took place between GU and uh, Liminality in the original four games, that explains all of that. So that's the precursor to this. So yeah, if you want to know, if you want to get more details about what happened before this game, watch that anime. I don't remember what it's called. I'm really sorry. But the two that I know that it isn't is Dot Hack Sign and Dot Hack Liminality. It is not those two. It's a different one. So yeah. Thank you for watching. Next time, it's not going to be as long of a video, and hopefully I'll be able to actually do something. So, yeah. And also, for funsies, if you want, go back to the scene where, uh, you know, Haseo was beating the shit out of those PKers, those player killers. And, uh, go back there and check out all the voice actors, because there's a lot of big voice actors in this. It's pretty great. So, anyway, see you guys next time.